if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see waveform here we can see these are some kind of waveform first of all this is a sine wave then here this is called as square wave then here this is called as triangle waveform then next is sawtooth waveform so this is called as a sawtooth waveform now what is waveform graphic representation of the shape of a wave that indicates its characteristics such as frequency and amplitude called waveform also called wave shape so this is called as waveform then next is instantaneous value now what is instantaneous value it is the value of ac quantity at a particular instant of time now here we can see this i1 is the instant particular instant at this time on this horizontal axis this is the time and on this vertical axis this is current so this i1 i2 i3 up to so on these are the instantaneous values the value of i1 i2 i3 gives the value of the sine wave at that instant of time the magnitude of the waveform has taken at any point of time is called instantaneous value and also remember that the instantaneous values are represented in small letters so instantaneous value of current is represented by small i and instantaneous value of voltage is represented by small v then next is cycle a cycle is one complete repetition of the wave pattern so this is a wave pattern or wave shape or wave form so one complete repetition is called as cycle a cycle is one complete repetition of the wave pattern so from here to here this is called as one cycle after that again it is repeating again and again so this is one complete cycle then next is period or time period it is denoted by capital t the time it take to complete one cycle of the wave is called period so how much time it take to complete one cycle from here to here is called as time period and it is denoted by capital t and it is measured in second unit of time period is second so this is called as time period and also remember that t is equal to 1 upon f second so t that is time period is equal to 1 upon frequency then next is amplitude the maximum or peak value of an ac quantity is called amplitude now here we can see for this wave form this maximum value is called as amplitude now if this is a current wave form then it will be amplitude of current and it is represented by im this im is called as maximum current or peak current or amplitude of current and if this is a voltage wave form then this amplitude is represented by vm so this vm is called as maximum voltage or peak voltage or amplitude of voltage then next is frequency the number of cycles completed by an alternating quantity in one second 
is called frequency. Now here we can see these are two waveform and from here to here this is one second. So how many cycles are completed in one second is called as frequency. So for this waveform here we can see one, two, three, four, five and six. So total six cycles are completed in one second. So for this waveform the frequency is six hertz. And for this second waveform there are only from here to here this is one complete cycle. So one then two then three. So for this waveform only three cycles completed in one second. So for this the wave the frequency is three hertz. It is denoted by small f. Frequency is denoted by small f. Unit of frequency is cycles per second or hertz, which is represented by capital H and small z. The formula for frequency is frequency is equal to 1 upon time period and its unit is hertz. Then next is angular velocity or angular frequency it is represented by omega it is the rate of change of angle with respect to time it is another way of expressing frequency in units of electrical radians per second instead of cycles per second so frequency is represented by cycles per second or hertz but angular frequency or angular velocity is represented by electrical radians per second. It is the time rate of change in angular displacement. Now here we can see omega is equal to d theta upon dt where this d by dt represents change in change with respect to time and this theta represents angular displacement. So omega is equal to 2 pi by t. This is the formula for angular frequency and its unit is radian per second and also we know that 1 upon t is equal to frequency that is 1 upon time period is equal to frequency. So if we replace this 1 upon t by small f then the formula will become omega is equal to 2 pi f radian per second. So this is the formula for omega. Remember this omega is equal to 2 pi f radian per second. So this is all about waveform, instantaneous value, cycle, period, amplitude, frequency and angular velocity or angular frequency. Don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel. And thanks for watching.